Hey everybody, John here from Astoria Ford. And today I'm gonna show you something that I'm really shocked that we actually have. This is the all new Ford Lightning. All right, starting on the outside here with the window sticker. This is a 2022, it's a Lariat, and it is the dual motor extended range battery. Um, it does have quite a few options, Lariat series, lockable storage, Copilot 360 2.0, including your Blue Cruise, and a few other things here as well, including the Max trailer tow package. In the back here, you're gonna have a power tailgate. It goes up and down, so you push this button two more times, it goes back up. Inside the bed, it's got the bed liner, it's got the lights, and then it does have part of your generator system here. It's got a 240, it's got uh, a couple of these outlets as well, and then these buttons here are going to be part of the reset system there for the ground fall. You do have the nice tailgate, including the measuring stick, so if you are out fishing and the game warden or trooper comes out, you can verify that the length of your fish is the right size. You do have tie down points on the tailgate, which do double as beer bottle openers, but I'm not sure how it's gonna, I need to get a beer bottle or a bottle to see, cause this here is part of the design on the tailgate. I don't know if it interferes there. You do have a C-clamp holder there, and then you have the tailgate step as well, which Ford is notorious for. One thing I do like is part of the zone lighting, you have these extra lights here. Now these actually get covered up by this when a tailgate's closed and the reverse lights, are actually on the tailgate, which is a pretty cool design right there. But I like how they put those on there. So if you have the zone lighting on, you can still see. Now on the outside here, there's no place where a normal F-150 would have a fill hole for your fuel. Please don't go to Costco or Fred Meyers and ask the fill attendant to fill your truck up. You're gonna embarrass yourself. This is the back seat here. It's gonna look very similar to a normal Lariat F-150 and it does have heated seats and vents. On the side here, they have this little kick light on the running board. Really nice feature to have. This is where you're going to charge the lightning. Another nice touch is going to be the keyless entry that works on all four doors rather than just the two front. In the front here, I like what they've done with the design of the headlights. So if you unlock it, it actually turns amber and white. I promise it doesn't flicker. That's the shutter speed. And it's got a light actually all the way across the top here as well. Then it's got your front sensors and your tow hooks to tow your Chevy friends out. Now, right here, if you push this button and the key's with you, it actually has the power frunk. It will open and close, and you can do it from the key fob. Inside here, you've got storage, and you do have a storage compartment and a drain plug underneath here. Right over here, you're going to have a few more sockets and a USB-C and USB charge port. Then you have these little things that flip out and you can hang stuff like uh, grocery bags full of apples. Inside, you're gonna notice this looks a lot like the standard F-150 with the exception of this gigantic screen right here. Uh, and the screen display is going to be a little bit different here but it's going to be similar to a Larry F-150. Starting over here, you've got your spotlights on the mirrors. This button's new. This one is part of your front. You can actually open and close it from inside the vehicle. And then you do have your power tailgate as well. There you go. And then you've got your pedals and parking brake. You also have your programmable seats. Steering wheel is gonna be just like a regular F-150. And look at that. It just called the front a jar. All right, so some of the cool things in here, you're gonna have this gigantic tablet, which is familiar with us with the Mach-E. Uh, we have something kind of similar in the Edge as well, but the Mach-E is going to be the more familiar one to us. It does have a couple extra things specific to Lightning, such as your sport mode, off-road and tow haul mode. Lightning and Mach-E do share normal mode. You have one pedal drive and a locking differential as well. Uh, this is the 360 camera package. You can change the views. You can add a camera for your trailer or your bed. 
You also have the camera inside the bed. You've got the hitch camera. You've got a wide angle camera, a not wide angle camera and the backup camera. So we can just sit here at the McDonald's parking lot and watch everything going on behind us. Under the access tab, it looks like you can actually remotely open and close the hood or frunk uh, right here. Pretty easy to use. And then you've got onboard scales. So when you put weight inside the vehicle, inside the bed, it actually goes and um, tells you about how much weight is in there, which is pretty cool. Look at that. If I get in the back there, it's gonna go up. It's, if I get in, it's probably gonna go up to like right here, about 1600 pounds. And for our friends, not in the US, we also have kilograms or pounds, and we can see the different scale here as well. Now over here in the zone lighting, we have the zone lighting. So we can actually turn the lights on and off all around the vehicle, uh, which is a pretty nice feature. You can turn all zones on. You also have some settings in here as well with the vehicle, with your lighting and such. You've got uh, intelligent backup, power this is nice if you have your vehicle and your home equipped properly and your power goes out then it can actually start adding power to your house you still get this nice little fancy thing with your shifter because this is a nice little work table and then in here you've got a gigantic sunroof now many of you might be asking what's it drive like I'll tell you this it's fast very very fast why don't you swing by Dayton Gadgets Astoria Ford? Make sure you ask for John.